sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the plug-in for SDR Sharp for uh, RTL 433. Now, a lot of people use this on a Pi or whatnot, but uh, we're going to install this on a, uh, the SDR Sharp. And as you can see, the creator is definitely keeping up with this. So, big shout out to them. So anyway, you'll want to go up here and download this. And once it's downloaded, we'll just unzip it. And uh, as you can see here, this is what it shows once it's unzipped. You have 1.5.40 and 0.41. Now, if you're using an older version of SDR Sharp, either one of them, you may want to use the DLLs in there. What we need to do is pull up our SDR Sharp folder. Now, I have two different versions here, the 1811 and the 1842. Now, I already have it on the uh, 1842, so we're just going to throw it on the 1811. What we need to do is, when we're in this folder, under Plugins, we are going to copy the three... DLL files here from what we just downloaded from the GitHub site and we're just going to drag them over to our SDR Sharp uh, folder. So once that is done all we need to do yet is find our plugins uh, file here the XML one right click click edit then we need to add the following line all right so I have it here so we'll just say paste it in there like such we'll say file save we can close that now we can just go back to our 1811 version here and fire this up now I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this but uh, we'll just fire it up here all right so now we have SDR Sharp up, so we'll click on the menu, click on 433, and here we are. So what we need to do first is we'll start it. Then you have list messages, graph, or devices, so we're just going to say list devices. Then might be hard to see because of the text here. But you have some options up here for 433, 860, 915, 345, 315, and free. So we're just going to click start. And that's going to bring up a thing over here. And now, as you can see, it's starting to show some information. So what we can do is make it a little bit bigger. And we can show this. And here it is, it's showing the device, the time, protocol, the model of the uh, thing that it's finding. And if we, then obviously down here, we have some information going, but if we scroll over, it is showing the frequency, RSSI, SNR, noise, ratio, humidity, temperature, and so on. We can bring back that. So anyway, that's pretty much it on how to at least get the uh, plugin installed and get you somewhat started. But uh, I would definitely pay attention to the GitHub maybe once a week or two because of uh, the support that is being put into this and everything. Uh, I'm sure more features will be coming. So. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.